Overdue to get back out. Uh, we're in the height of summer. The cicadas are still going nuts. I can hear them in the trees outside. So um, I just now really want to get out and um, finish some of the, the little missions that I had planned for the rest of the season and make the most of it. So a couple options today. Um, two small streams. A toss up really with them after now one's quite a wild remote area and the other one's quite a um, readily accessible sort of um, lowland. Well it's not really lowland but it's um, sort of surrounded by farmland. Whether I um, want to chase wild rainbows today or um, migrating browns. What I have been grappling with for a little while is um, just what sort of uh, gear to get to shoot these, um, these vlogs. So um, I'm thinking about upgrading my camera so I can get some more sort of uh, higher quality footage. Ideally you want something that's, um, that's pretty rugged and it's going to be able to take the knocks. And you also want something that's going to be waterproof as well. So yeah, there's not a lot on the market that this kind of fits this fits the budget really. Yeah, and that's the other thing is the budget. I'm on a pretty tight budget as always. I'm thinking about uh, getting something that's kind of dedicated to video. But, but yeah, it's a little bit hard to know what to get. To get the, the really smooth footage, you probably need to think about stabilisation or a gimbal or something like that as well. And, and all the gear, the cost mounts up and the, uh, the weight and the size and all the rest of it mounts up. Doing these vlogs, you really got to think about that. So it's always a bit of a compromise. 4K at 120 frames per second would be really awesome, but uh, there's only about um, one uh, sort of consumer sort of grade camera that's doing that at the moment. Probably straight after I buy something, uh, there'll be something else out that uh, probably fits exactly what I want. <laughs> and that's always the hard part about getting gear to. Really enticed in here, it's always a bit of a mission getting down into it. There's only it's only about one place that you can climb down into it, so uh, yeah, it's running quite low as expected, but uh, that's, that's okay because that's going to make the travel going upstream easier. Um, I just don't know if the fish are uh, going to be up here at this time of year, so um, so let's find out, let's get into it. I just spotted a little rainbow just up above this rock up here in this uh, little riffle. It actually came right downstream and chased a uh, dry fly and took it off the surface and then turned right down in here and then it's gone back up. Took it. Got him. That's pretty cool. I can see a fish in this pool. It's actually um, right below those branches right on the bottom. It's going to be quite hard to get a cast into there. Took it. Dropped it. That was cool the way it came right up from the bottom and took that. Okay I spotted a fish over here. There's a green leaf just floated past and it's right over the far side. Uh, coming back online a bit, feeding away. So hopefully he's going to take it dry. Let's test out that feeling. Okay, he's the drive. He's coming over. He's coming over. He's going to take it. He's got it, and it's on. Oh, kidding me! I spotted a big fish. It looks really big anyway. It's a long fish. So if I manage to hook this fish, I'm just going to have to stay calm. I've only got five pound tippet on. Kind of run out of my good stuff, which is poor planning. Okay, he's right over by the far bank. Dark shape. Oh, that's not a very good cast. He's coming over. Let's have a look at it. He doesn't want it. Didn't get that in the current. Need to get it in the current. That was a poor presentation first up. Perfect. Got it. Got him. Okay. He really is trying to get me on the far bank. Underneath stuff. What he's trying to do. It's a dirty fight. 
very dirty fight. And these wild fish are pretty savvy in that regard. Another difficult pool to see into, just because of the, uh, the poor light, uh, just the shading, and the glare. So um, I'm just going to, to just cover the water again. Oh, fish right in the shallows, which I spooked. Are we going to take this? I might still take this fly. Yep. Yes. <laughs> On the dry. On the dry. Big snap come out. Boy, oh boy. Oh, there it goes again. He managed to drop the fly. Last time I was here, I fished to a fish um, perched on that rock there. I did the same again this time. And the fish was just um, lying in the same place as last time. Got a big stimulator over him on the first cast and just watched him come up slowly and take it, which was really awesome. I set up the GoPro on the rock there and I'm hoping that I got some good footage of the actual take. Last time I hooked the fish, um, he busted me off on the other side. And so I was hoping to land the fish this time to have a look at it. Um, but the um, fish went down here and I was just playing it gently and um, jumped out of the water and actually threw the hook. It's a continuing saga and for this fish. I'll have to come back next year and um, hook the fish again and lose it again. I spotted a fish right in the tail here. I don't know whether this fish can see me or not, but he's very still. Um, I put the dry fly past him twice and he hasn't responded. Um, kind of looks like he's feeding. So I'm just going to put a little nymph on and just see if I can just watch for the mouth to go. To go. Uh, just got a little Cadillac nymph on there. Got him. He's really keen on staying in this area here.
pretty awesome spot. I'm near the, the top of um, my uh, my day today, so I'm going to turn around soon and head back. I think there might be one more pool up here that I'll check out, uh, and then I'll be heading back down. Uh, beautiful in here, just so isolated and remote. It's a great place to come just to um, just to get away from everything. Really. It's been a cool day. Hooked about eight fish, lost about four or five. A couple of them, three, about three of them busted me off. Um, a couple of other ones uh, hook pulled. Um, all on the dry fly, which is awesome. Beautiful sunny day in a wild, remote place. Great place to come just to um, just to get away from it all. Really, I uh, love it in here. So nice being out today. Just awesome. It's so enriching for the soul. Yeah, been cool. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, please like and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you all next week in the next vlog.